dear friends, today we have with us CEO of UP State Development Authority, Mayur Maheshwari ji, uh, who is here in Australia and joining us today at the Australia Today. Uh, Mayur ji, thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, we want to know what is this summit about and uh, uh, why has the summit come to Australia? See, first of all, I extend my warm welcome to all your viewers. And the summit is about the global meet that we are have, you know, having in Lucknow in the mid of February, 10th to 12th of February, to attract investment from Australia to India and to UK in particular. Subsequent to the signing of the ECTA, there is a great opportunity and this is, I think, the high time for investors from both countries to utilize those benefits and have uh, you know, very good yields and dividends from those partnerships that we'll be forging now. May uh, if I would ask you, uh, would you say, say three or four things? Uh, that if there's an investor here, why should they invest in UB? Because there's so much competition, they have other options as well. So what are those four or five things that UB offers in particular that investors from here should consider investing in UB? See, first of all, I would say that the land, labor, capital and technology, these are the major factors of production. We have such policy which I initiated, which offers subsidies and incentives to the tune of 30%. So your 30% of the capital cost has been taken care of by the UP government. Then what you produce, we have a 240 million population consumer base. So what you produce, you can sell in UP. Third, the labor force, the cost of logistics, the cost of workmanship is so less there. You produce in UP and sell to the whole world. So this is the story that we are here to sell. Make in UP for the entire world, not only for the country, but for the entire world. And utilize these partnerships that Prime Minister Modi sir has initiated. Our Honorable Chief Minister has given us the vision to engage with Australia on a priority basis. And from 29th of December, ECTA is in coming force. So we should leave these benefits to the benefit of all our citizens. Uh, last question, Mayuji, that, you know, perception-wise, uh, you know, say, the perception that is about Maharashtra or Gujarat or even Tamil Nadu in India or Andhra Pradesh or Karnataka, perhaps UP's, you know, perception in terms of a manufacturing or IT hub is not yet there. So what would you like to tell okay, I'll, yeah. I'll tell you the perception story. Yeah. In 2014, we had two mobile phone more manufacturing companies in India. Now we have more than 300. 65% of entire that production comes from India. 55% of the component manufacturing because these things cater to the youth. This is the state of the art technology is from the state of the So this is the perception. It requires an ecosystem of strong human resource. It requires technology inputs. It requires an ecosystem which can cater to their branding, marketing, delivery in the entire supply chain. So this is the value which I am talking about. It has been created in the past five years and we are riding on to this. So please come and invest in UP and become a part of it. Yeah. And lastly, you mentioned that UP is the largest consumer of EV vehicles. That was what stood out for me, uh, given the concerns around environment. So just lastly, if you could just give, say something about that, because that's quite interesting. See, electronic vehicles need to run on expressway. We have an infrastructure corridor which spans the largest in the country and we will be giving a push and fill it to the electronic vehicle policy. Until the use, I just mentioned that we have the largest consumption base of EVs. The entire ecosystem of batteries, the charging infrastructure has to be provided for. So there is an opportunity lying for all those suppliers of EVs who want to invest in that. Mayuki, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you.